In March 2020, the World Mosquito Program completed the first cluster randomised controlled trial of Wolbachia for the control of dengue. The trial was conducted by an international research team from the University of Gadjah Mada in Indonesia, from Monash University in Australia and from the University of California, Berkeley in the United States. The results have been published in the New England Journal of Medicine and here I'd like to present a brief summary of the groundbreaking findings from this trial, which showed that Wolbachia deployments reduced dengue incidents by 77% and dengue hospitalisations by 86%. Dengue is a mosquito-borne viral illness and a big public health problem in most of the tropical world. Up to 100 million dengue cases occur globally every year with just one mosquito species called Aedes aegypti responsible for the vast majority of this disease. Conventional methods for responding to dengue outbreaks try to control Aedes aegypti mosquitoes by spraying insecticides and reducing breeding sites. But despite these efforts, the global burden of dengue keeps growing. Our intervention takes a different approach. Instead of killing mosquitoes, we use a naturally occurring insect bacteria called Wolbachia to reduce the ability of Aedes aegypti mosquitoes to transmit dengue and other viruses. Once introduced into Aedes aegypti in the laboratory, Wolbachia lives inside the insect cells and is passed from one generation to the next via the eggs. When mosquitoes infected with Wolbachia are released into communities, they mate with wild mosquitoes, which spreads Wolbachia through the local mosquito population until eventually all mosquitoes carry Wolbachia. The Arwed trial, applying Wolbachia to eliminate dengue, was conducted over three years in Yogyakarta, Indonesia, with the aim of measuring the efficacy of Wolbachia mosquito releases in reducing dengue incidents. Before starting the trial, we undertook a community engagement and communications campaign to build strong support for the randomised trial from the local communities and community leaders. The trial site in Yogyakarta City has a population of 312,000 people in an area of 26 kilometres squared. We divided this area into 24 adjacent clusters and randomly allocated 12 to receive Wolbachia deployments. Routine dengue control measures continued across the entire site. Wolbachia infected mosquitoes were released as eggs into the 12 intervention neighbourhoods between March and December 2017. The spread of Wolbachia into the local mosquito population was monitored through a network of adult mosquito traps. Wolbachia was established rapidly in the 12 intervention clusters during the release period and then stayed at a very high level throughout the study period without the need for reapplication. That summarises the delivery of the intervention. So how did we measure the efficacy of Wolbachia against dengue? We used a type of case control study called a test negative design. This involved studying patients presenting with acute febrile illness to 18 government primary care clinics throughout the city. Patients aged 3 to 45 years were invited to enrol in the trial if they were resident in the study area and met other eligibility criteria. The participants' residential address and the locations they had visited for the past 10 days were recorded and a blood sample was collected. Between January 2018 and March 2020, 8,144 participants were enrolled. 385 participants were positive in either dengue PCR or NS1 tests and were classified as virologically confirmed dengue cases. Another 5,921 were negative in all dengue tests and were classified as test negative controls. And the remainder did not meet the criteria for either test positive or test negative illness and were excluded from the analysis. Our predefined primary analysis compared the odds of a dengue case living in a Wolbachia treated cluster versus the odds of test negative controls living in a Wolbachia treated cluster. After 27 months, 318 dengue cases were detected in the untreated arm and only 67 in the Wolbachia treated arm, which translates to a 77% reduction in the incidence of dengue in the Wolbachia treated areas of the city. All four dengue virus serotypes were detected among trial participants and the efficacy was similar across serotypes. 
Efficacy against hospitalised dengue was even higher at 86% with only 13 hospitalisations for dengue in the Wolbachia treated arm compared to 102 in the untreated arm. That's a particularly exciting result for this trial. These results show that establishment of Wolbachia at high prevalence in local Aedes aegypti mosquito populations reduces the incidence of dengue and it works against all four serotypes. Wolbachia remains at a high level more than three years after the completion of releases in Yogyakarta, highlighting the sustainable nature of this method. Following this very positive result, Wolbachia releases have now been completed into all areas of Yogyakarta city at the request of the local community and are underway in neighbouring districts where two million people live. We're excited by the possibility of a dengue-free Yogyakarta in the coming years and the wider prospects for using Wolbachia to control other diseases like Zika and chikungunya. Finally, the outcomes from this trial have enabled the World Health Organization's Vector Control Advisory Group to endorse the public health value of the Wolbachia method, the first time this has happened for an intervention targeted to Aedes aegypti. We're hopeful that the results of this trial will help Wolbachia to become more widely used by governments in dengue-affected countries to reduce the burden of dengue and other viruses transmitted by Aedes aegypti mosquitoes.